Yeah, so excited for our team and really proud of our team. We're, we're really excited, you know, coming off of a really challenging week where we were able to, to get a great win here at home and then be able to go on the road and, and win on the road at Charlotte. You know, I'm so proud of our team. I'm proud of the way that we're competing right now. We're really competing with, with great heart and great toughness and great togetherness. And I think that's that's where we found a lot of our success. Obviously, you know, right now statistically, you see the leaders on the floor with what Delaney is doing and what Tamira is doing and even Maddie Cartwright you know they're coming up huge for us on both ends of the floor both offensively and defensively um, right now I think one of the biggest things that you're seeing is just the impact that our depth has with our team so we've got we've got great depth we have lots of players that work really really hard and you see Coranda Perea in the game that she had in our last game you know hitting some huge shots for us you see Cam Matthews you know with the clutch free throws that she has and and then you see you know Jessica Evans coming in and hitting a huge shot for us. And so that depth is something we're really excited about this year. And, and I think you'll be able to see even more players, Amira Brown, be able to have huge, huge impact moments for us along the way. But, but it all comes back to the teamwork and the toughness that this team has. And that's why we're able to, to win close games. And that's why we're able to, to close things out on the road down the stretch. Questions? How big is this upcoming stretch for y'all where you have four games in a row against teams above 500? Well, we know we've got a lot of challenges ahead of us. You know, we're excited for those challenges. We know even this week we've got to have a great amount of preparation. We've got to have a great amount of focus. And, and we're excited for those challenges. That's our conference. You know, there's not a single night off in our conference. But being able to compete at the highest level and being able to compete against those teams is what's next for us. And we're excited for that. Is there any challenge with going to ECU, but then knowing that the number one team comes in here on the, the weekend? I think every team has challenges with that. You know, being able to stay focused on that next game in front of you, and it's really no matter what opponent it is, you've got to be able to what we call playing present. You've got to be able to stay in the moment. You've got to be able to have just great focus on that next step that's in front of you, and I think our team does a really good job of that. You touched on Cam a lot last week, um, you know, after you were dealt with injuries in that game, and then she went and started this past, this past game. Just talk more about her and what you saw in that last game with her and her really stepping up. Yeah, Kim did a great job for us. You know, we moved her into that starting lineup for us because we knew she would bring us great energy. We knew she would bring us a great amount of work ethic and, and her toughness and her speed would help us play a transition game. And she does all of those things so well for our team. Um, Kim can do so much more than even what you guys have been able to see her do. She shoots the ball well. She distributes the ball well. And I'm excited for her continued growth in our program. Um, you know, obviously Hadley has had, it doesn't really look to score. It's kind of like a freshman mentality. You're looking to give it to the, the seniority on the team. Um, but how much has she impacted the rebounding side of things this season? Yeah, Hadley does so much on the floor for us, you know, and sometimes we do. So Hadley is such an unselfish player. There's times where we want her to, to do a little bit more and take a little bit more because we know she's capable of that. I love her aggressiveness when she's around the rim. I love her ability to go get offensive rebounds for us. I love her ability to shoot and knock down the open three. You know, she's starting to look for that a little bit more, which is very encouraged in our program. You know, you look at our team dynamics and other teams that scout us, you know that they're going to have focal points on some players, and it's it's the other players it's the depth that I'm talking about it's the way that that we can play together and kind of the positionless basketball that we have that's going to be really beneficial and there's going to be times where there's going to be a matchup on Hadley and Hadley's going to take huge advantage of that and then there's times where Hadley chases down a rebound and makes a kick out and then somebody hits an open three and you know what she does for our team is just so invaluable and, and we're grateful for that you guys lost two in a row to start, or not start January, but beginning of January, you've rattled off four in a row now. Is there anything that's flipped switch-wise, I guess, or is there anything you're noticing that has maybe clicked with this team over this last four-game stretch? Well, I think the way that our players handled that adversity in, in the two losses you're talking about with Temple and at South Florida, you know, we faced a lot of adversity in those games, and I thought that we handled it really, really well. And I thought that one thing that we did is we didn't just continue to focus on the process. We became more embedded in the process and those daily habits that it's going to take to be elite. And so just their focus has increased since then. And we have a team who's hungrier than ever. You know, you, you come off and you feel the sting, you know, of those losses and you feel the disappointment and the way that they handle handle that by coming more together and staying positive and continue to move forward is what we've seen those results be. 
your team comfortable with a little extra spotlight being up at the top level or the top two, three in, in the conference? Do they pay attention to that kind of stuff? Or do you think they've handled that extra attention maybe a little better? I think they handle it really well, you know, and I think you can you can see that by the way that, you know, there's games where we may jump out and be front runners and get a huge lead and being able to, to play with a lead is important and being able to play from behind is important. And I think our team does a great job at both of those. And I'm using that as an analogy to the spotlight that you had mentioned. You do have a target on your back, you know, and, and they've earned that target. And that's what we talk about is once, you know, once you have that target on your back, how do you handle that? How do you handle that mentally? How do you handle that from a preparation standpoint? Because you know that you're you're going to get everybody's best, so you've got to show up and be ready to give your best. I forgot to ask this. Another person that stepped into the starting lineup a few weeks ago was obviously Maddie, um, and the way that she's been able to play and also getting Freshman of the Week honors. Just how proud are you of her and being able to do that and get that accolade? Yeah, well, Maddie Cartwright has been, you know, she was in and out of our starting lineup kind of from the beginning, but just her growth and her transition into her freshman year. We, we all watch her play and you forget she's a freshman. You know, she's so talented and can do so much on the floor. And she's been able to really adapt to the college game quickly. She works extremely hard. We see the dives that she has out of bounds and the hustle plays she gets on the rebounds. And we've seen her in huge moments in that Rice game be able to hit that, that layup to take the lead there at the end and then be able to hit a clutch free throw and get that off offensive rebound and so mm -hmm. she's coming through for us in a lot of big moments but but Maddie is Maddie is a winner you know you look at her history and her high school program with her AAU program you know she's going to step on the floor and she's going to do whatever it takes to win and she has such a great skill set to be able to do that for our team any other questions Barry? Uh, coach speak specifically about um, East Carolina and what uh, impresses you about them East Carolina is a good team. You know, we're looking at an NCAA tournament team from last year that won the tournament, um, our conference tournament, and then went to the NCAA tournament. You don't do that by accident. You know, they've got a lot of talent, and then they had that talent return and have added to that talent even out of the transfer portal. Um, and they're well coached, so we know that we're going to have a fight on our hands, but we're excited for that challenge. You know, we're going into, into their home court. We're going into their arena, and that has challenges in and of itself. But we're excited for that. You know, this team has really become road warriors and so we're excited to be able to step on the floor and compete they could cause you know they could cause some issues with some teams we've seen on film you know they they, they play a zone most of the game and that can slow some teams down and you guys know us we want to play fast we want to play free and we want to play open so it's going to be a fun game anything else awesome. thank you thanks guys let's go coach